HBAR is currently so scarce that 1000 HBAR is a lot. So recently I got access to a ton of incredibly in-depth analytics on HBAR Hashgraph Network and what I found is going to shock all of you guys. You see most of us would probably believe that people hold a lot of HBAR on average but the analytics that I uncovered tell a very different story that I was not expecting. And when I started to look into the DeFi analytics to see how the HBAR ecosystem was maturing over time, I didn't believe what I found. First and foremost, I need to give a massive shout out to Tierbot to giving me access to a number of different amazing analytics. You guys are also welcome to check these out for yourselves online. I think that's a great service and they're doing amazing things for the HBAR community. Now, with that being said, though, I want to really dive deep into first NFTs because the HBAR network is a lot more active than I thought when it comes to different DeFi applications and NFTs and even gamify projects that are being built currently on the blockchain and this is a really big deal you see gamify nfts and all of these other different niches are going to drive a lot of volume to hbar in the long term because the fact of the matter is transacting with nfts on hbar is infinitely cheaper than ethereum polygon solana and it's much faster and seamless and as our ecosystem evolves and serves consumer needs even better it's just going to snowball from here so seeing just how crazy the nft stats are already is truly amazing now if we look right here we can see the total amount of holders for NFTs is currently sitting at 251,000, which is actually a very sizable amount. And in the, just the last seven days alone, there has been nearly 1,000 transactions of different trades of NFTs. If we go to the last 90 days, we're seeing almost 7,000 transactions for NFTs. And most people that are trading NFTs right now and are selling them on the open market for HBAR are actually making quite sizable profits on those positions because of how new this ecosystem is and how many new people are continuously coming in so chances are if you're getting involved in the top nft ecosystems there are some really great opportunities to actually make a sizable amount if you're looking to buy and flip nfts as of right now and also the market cap of nfts are staying very steady in the ecosystem as well we're currently sitting at roughly 400 million ish dollars in terms of floor for all of nfts and that's a really great sign for an ecosystem of our size in terms of nft market size versus blockchain size hbar is doing substantially better than every single other cryptocurrency project out there and if we dive a little bit into marketplace fees and nft marketplaces specifically we can see that a lot of these guys are actually making a sizable amount for just building decentralized applications which is exactly what we want to incentivize within the hbar ecosystem because the hbar fees are basically non-existent on every single transaction whether it's nfts tokens or the hbar cryptocurrency itself it allows a lot of marketplaces to increase their margins substantially and make a lot more more money than they would on other cryptocurrency chains, which I am obviously a huge proponent of as somebody who absolutely adores and loves business. It makes the experience better for the end user who is buying the NFTs. It makes the experience better for the people that are building the applications for everyone to buy the NFTs on. It's a win-win. And if we look at the graph for total sales over time, there is a very clear trajectory here for the sales of NFTs on Hedera. It's absolutely phenomenal just how much we have grown over the course of the last 90 days i mean that is a very clear trajectory that we are growing astronomically from around 235 all the way up to nearly 280 that is huge nfts are cool and all but here is my favorite part the DeFi analytics, okay, looking at how much volume is coming into the chain, how your holdings square up against other HBAR holders' holdings. Yeah, that's the interesting stuff. You can see whether you're in the top 1%, 10%, 100% of holders, whatever it may be, you can see on this page right here, which is extremely cool. Before we get into how your holdings stand up against other people's, I first want to talk about the actual buy versus sell volume and liquidity that's coming in to HBAR. Now, over the course of the last 90 days, the buy versus sell volume is positive. There are more buyers than sellers, which is a great sign. 
Also, from a liquidity in and out perspective, we're seeing a lot more liquidity come in than going out, which is once again very good. But I want to show you guys over the course of the last seven days, we're seeing the buy volume go up astronomically over the course of this period as, a, as opposed to the last 90 days, which is showing that people are more bullish on HBAR at this moment than they were uh, perhaps in the past. And same thing with liquidity in and out. We can see that, of course, Lots of liquidity is still coming in to the ecosystem itself on these DeFi applications, which is once again an incredibly amazing sign. Now, if we look at the volume versus market cap data, we can see the effects of the BlackRock news clear as day, as of course that caused massive spikes in volume and a ton of liquidity coming into the HBAR ecosystem as a whole. Myself and many other people included started getting a lot more involved in HBAR following that news. And you can see just how crazy the run for HBAR really has been over the course of this time period. But here's the thing, more dApps are coming to HBAR and this is gonna drive so much more volume. We have huge gamify projects that are gonna be built in this ecosystem and the effects of that have yet to be seen. So I'm extremely excited to just get more insight on exactly how that's going to look also liquidity has been staying very steady in terms of DeFi, so that's a great thing to see as well but now i want to get into the most interesting part of this video which is the rich list and seeing how your holdings are compared to other people's holdings okay so you guys are not gonna believe what i'm about to show you okay this is the official table of current hbar holders how many accounts have how much hbar so you're gonna get to see how you line up against other people are you in the top one percent five percent what are you in okay so we can see two to five hbar there is fifty one thousand accounts this accounts for 13% of all HBAR holders and that really small range. Now, of course, a lot of these people are individuals that are just holding HBAR on a wallet so that they can transact, which is understandable. But then we see some other really interesting analytics. Five to 10, 32,000 accounts, 8% of all wallets. 10 to 100, 51,000 accounts, almost 13% of all holders. And if we go to 500 to 1,000, there's 16,000 accounts, 4%. And then there is for 500, 31,000 accounts, okay? This means, ladies and gentlemen, everyone who's watching this, the amount of individuals that hold HBAR, that is be like below 1,000 accounts for the majority of all holders, okay? I mean, we got, what is this right here? So we got 13% plus 8% plus another 13% plus 8% plus 4%. That is 46% of all HBAR holders have less than 1,000 HBAR, okay? That, that is absolute insanity. Then, of course, there are a lot of HBAR holders that are in the one to 10,000 range. And this is actually the highest amount, right? In, in an individual category, it's between one to 10,000. Now, I've asked the people at Tierbot to give me in depth information on how many of these are between one to 5,000 and five to 10,000. So I will be getting that information for you guys very shortly. But nonetheless, incredibly interesting. Now, when things, where things get really shocking is when we scroll down a little bit and we look at the largest holders, okay? Between <laughs> these insane numbers here, right? We're talking about now the billions of HBAR, right? There is only two wallets that have between one to three billion. Then we have one wallet that's between 700 to 800 million. And same here, between 600 to 700 million, there's four wallets, right? Now, where we see a lot more holders over the average when it comes to these types of numbers is in the 100 to 200,000 range. About 1.8% of HBAR holders are in the 100 to 200,000 range. Now, I've very recently actually come above the 100 to 200,000 range for HBAR holdings. So I'm officially above the, the median here. And I'm, I'm actually in this range right here, which accounts for about 0.2% of HBAR holdings, which is obviously a great target. I think that we should all be aiming to get out of the average if we really want to set ourselves apart and be rich in terms of our HBAR holdings. We really want to get to these higher numbers here, right? I'm aiming, I'm thinking if like you're the average person just putting in a little bit here and there, if you get to the 10 to 20,000 range for HBAR, I mean, you're already well 
ahead of most people. And there's a really a big drop off actually when you even get to the 20 to 30,000 range. So perhaps for you guys back at home, that's your goal. But I want to know what is your guys' goal for your H bar holdings over the long term? Do you want to get to 100,000, 1 million? What's your goal? And what percent are you in? I'm su super curious to see. Let me know in the comments down below. And that, my friends, is the H bar rich list, the official most up to date stats. If you guys want to see more content like this, please let me know. I have access to a bunch of limited information on the HBAR ecosystem, and I'll be more than happy to bring this to you or for any other cryptocurrency that you guys want. Let me know if you want me to cover a different crypto down below, and I'll go ahead and do that. If you enjoyed today's content, please hit the like and the subscribe button for more videos in the future, and please also join my Discord community. We're an amazing community of HBAR, XRP, and all different other cryptocurrency holders, and we are all growing our portfolios together the smartest way possible so join the discord hit the like button i'll see you guys next time peace out